Hi, uh, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can post your resume using the following link. In this video, I am going to present a list of frequently asked core Java interview questions. Very important Java interview questions I am going to just present here. Uh, I prepared 95 Java interview questions. It will be really helpful for your Java preparation, Java interview preparation. Here it goes. What is the difference between interface and abstract class? Very very important. Garbage collection. You should know how exactly the garbage collection works in uh, inside the JVM and whether we can enforce this or not, enforce it or not. Okay. What's the benefit that we are going to get? How it avoids uh, out of memory error? The next question: synchronization. You should uh, you should know a lot about synchronization. Whenever two threads call a single method, what happens? How we can protect the shared variable okay shared data among two threads okay uh, pass by reference and pass by value you should know uh, for object and for a primitive type okay hash map and map you should know the uh, difference uh, the hash map and hash table yeah which is better and how exactly it works which supports the synchronization vector and array list static keyword very very important java interpretation static keyword uh, plays an important role it, uh, it is at the class level it is not at the object level methods and variables you should know the difference uh, why java is platform independence uh, that's why that's why java is growing like anything uh, what is jvm at least the basics um, how exactly the jvm uh, behave in uh, in a windows environment and a linux environment is it different how it's different uh, how it makes the uh, single byte code runs in a different uh, jvm okay uh, between JDK and JVM, singleton class, what's the use, what's the purpose, uh, finalized method, you should know about exceptions, check tips, checked exceptions and unchecked exceptions and runtime exceptions uh, and about runtime exceptions, the compiler does not uh, grip, grip about uh, whenever you declare and throw Complaint does not complaint does not worry about that and throws keyword, finally very very important in the exception handling, what's the purpose okay um, then you should know the example for finally polymorphism how we are how we can implement polymorphism in java uh, the next questions are what is abstraction encapsulation abstract class and interface uh, immutable object how can i make a class or an object immutable so basically you should mark the variable instant variables as final you, do, you should not give any setters for those for instance variable okay there's a, there are variety of there are different types of ways you can make an object immutable and what is advantage okay you can share and there the, there is a thread safety okay comparable interface and comparator interface okay comparator and comparable you should know the difference static block okay whenever class is loaded uh, static blocks blocks will be uh, executed okay um, yeah whenever it's loaded and not whenever object is created uh, whenever object is created constructors constructors will be called whenever a class is loaded a static block will be executed what is the advantage overloading and overriding very important java entry question what is the final class that means i don't want to give anyone a chance to give their own implementation so final class means i have given my own implementation no one should override my implementation or no one um, should inherit from me okay if they can't extend my class final class null point exception uh, in uh, what invokes threads run method file not found exception serialization very very important serialization is like uh, converting your object into uh, into a byte uh, you know into a byte stream so that i can store in a flat file or a database or i can even send it through wire okay that's where the serialization and deserialization comes into picture uh, transient variable again synchronization very important um, then private constructor when do we need a private constructor why exactly we need what happens if we don't give like that so the complete details you should know life cycle of a thread running runnable state okay so no thoroughly the life cycle of a thread generics there are a lot of questions in generics topic and very very important Java entry question why strings are immutable what is the advantage uh, how exactly string constant pool works okay and whenever you append what exactly happened during compilation 
append in the sense if you use plus sign in the uh, in your code what happens during the compilation okay uh, then um, then uh, ash equals and hash method if I override e equals and if I don't override hash code method what happens and vice versa okay if I override both method what will happen okay so please try to prepare for these questions see how do I serialize an object to a file then static class static field what happened during the serialization uh, observer and observable what what is out of memory error and market interface okay this is the last slide um, thread local class there are different types of methods in thread sleep uh, thread concept sleep suspend wait what are the what is the purpose when do we need it why exactly we need it and what what it what it serves the purpose okay what is deadlock thread pool class loader and can you make a constructor final so there are few uh, interview questions i've collected here okay um, it will be really helpful if you are ready with ready with your answers for these questions so i've just prepared so that it will help you to prepare for your java interview thank you for watching this video and all the best for your interview this video is from interview.com at top portal thank you